Hello everyone. Today we're going to be using uh, Zoho Creator C5 to show uh, how to properly set up subforms in the new platform. So bear with us here for a second. We have a uh, employee form that we just put together and now I'm just going to create um, a new table which we're going to use a, as a subform of these, this table. So I'm going to create a new table and let's say that I'm going to do uh, directions like um, um, workplaces. So the employees can or you know could work potentially on different working spaces. So I want to know which places are going to be those, okay? And um, let's see, okay, we have address, city, state, postal, and country code. And then I also want to know if that address, well, let's do a drop down. Let's say if that address is uh, type of office, is it a home office? Is it um, a rental or other or main office? Let's see. Main office. Cool. So the first step that you always have to do is you're you're gonna have to go to the main form, which is employees in this case. So go to the form. And then you're gonna set it up. Uh, you're gonna drag the subform that you want to put in into your form structure. So go to the subform, and once you open the form under basic fields, you go to let's see, it's basic fields actually. Yeah, it's under basic fields. Let's see, subform. Nope, it's not here. It's not under basic. Advanced subform, yeah, it's under advanced fields. So you drag the subform. In this case, I'm gonna use the workplaces, the one that I just created. I'm gonna use this as a subform, okay? And then I'm gonna put workplaces, I'm gonna put the name of the subform, okay? And the fields need to adjust automatically, okay? And then once I did this, I need to go back to the workplaces form, open the record, open the form, go into the advanced fields again, and then you're gonna do a lookup. You're gonna do a lookup field from employees using the field in this case, we always recommend to use the ID because it's the, the only differentiator that you know you can have a unique value to that. And then if the direction is going to be bi-directional, you need to select yes, meaning for um, every address there's going to be uh, one employee or multiple. I mean if you're going to be if it's going to be multiple, you need to go with this selection. If it's only going to be one, you need to go with this. But here's, you know, you decide whether the relationship between the two forms is bi-directional or not. Um, but at least with this, you can guarantee that the workplace would be tied to an employee record. Does that make sense? So if I use this, um, we need to choose the relation that employees is going to have with workplaces here and then single okay oh by the way if it's bi-directional we cannot be multi-select selection it's only one one to one and uh, that's it you know click done and you have now link the uh, the form so if you go to employee form and you try to add a record. 
so let's see uh, testing name at gmail.com this guy is going to be a coach and the address is going to be home office and then you can put here you know whatever address you need to to use if you click submit then <clears throat> your employee is going to have that particular uh, information already stored but if you look in your workplaces database you can now have that link to your employees and if you want you can actually bring over records from the employee form instead of having that employee ID you can just add a new one so now you have visibility to all the employee fields because it's synced so you can have the name of the employee type of office the office and get rid of the ID so you don't see it even though it's gonna be there for you know mapping purposes but now the uh, subform has been uh, it is part of the main form employee so this is how you properly set a subform in C5 for Zoho Creator. Let us know if you have any questions. We'll be glad to help you out with any any other Zoho Creator uh, tasks you may need to tackle. Okay. Have a great day, guys. Okay.